I now invite Mr. Lubna Hassan, convener IAEA, professional partner of the NESCO. She's the convener of IAEA. Will now be the next, will now deliver the inaugural address. So, uh, good morning and a warm welcome to all of you. The artist today belongs to you. The former artist today belongs to you too. To all the people here who have made it through this raging pandemic, a warm welcome to all of you. From IAA, AIAP, official partners of UNESCO. In 2020, UNESCO in its General Assembly in Paris invited India to be a part of the World Art Day celebration, a day celebrated all over the world. But this could not happen because the pandemic plays all sport. World Art Day is celebrated all over the world on the 15th of April to commemorate two big events, birth and death. It is the birth of Leonardo da Vinci, one of the greatest artists the world has ever seen. When the Titanic was built, the mayor of Southampton said, Even God cannot save this ship. But alas, on the 15th of April, while Wallace Hartley orchestrated the music to divert the minds of the people, the ship and he sank. As you all know, art 
is a very, very important part of our life. I think without that, our life is colorless. Art nurtures creativity, innovation, and cultural diversity for all people across the globe and plays an important role in sharing knowledge and encouraging curiosity and dialogue. These are qualities that art has always had and will always have if we continue to support environments where artists and artistic freedom are promoted and protected in this way, furthering the development of art also furthers our means to achieve a free and peaceful world. At the outset, I am extremely sorry that I was not able to present the day. Time of the inauguration of this international art day camp that is being held in the basis of the architectural collection. I had some other preoccupation. So I informed the organizers that I will not be able to make it, but I will visit the camp sometime during the course of the camp. You know, the arrangements that have been made in spite of the restrictions that are imposed due to COVID-19 issues, it shows the enthusiasm, the interest, and the commitment of the organizers in the field of art. Karnataka Chitra Kala Culture, which is in its 60th year of its existence, is happy to be a partner of this uh, show. I also congratulate all the artists who have participated in today's camp, and I hope that they will be producing artworks which will be worth and useful for the students and also for the general public. Each day, which is dedicated to a particular event in our life, will go a long way to memorizing and in remembering the those people who have contributed for this field of art. The history of the visual art is a very long one, and a lot of people nationally and internationally have contributed to it. And now a new generation is also coming through a form of education. So I am happy to inform you that Karnataka Sakala Parishad, under which the College of Fine Arts is functioning, is one of the five premier institutions in the country, which is trying to educate people who are interested in the field of art. There were days when there was no formal education in the field of art. In spite of it, the world has produced many renowned artists which are still poor, remain unbeatable even today. Thank you.